Hi, my name is Scott Smith, L'Oreal Professional Educator for the Northern California Region, and I'm excited to share with you my audition for the L'Oreal Professional Session team. My history with in the hair industry runs 27 years. I've been from an assistant on through to a salon owner, and in that time have worked with commercials, film, print work, and runways, along with Sa uh, Saks Fifth Avenue, Nordstrom, and other smaller venues. It's always been an exciting time for me. Every time I work with hair, it's like a new beginning for me. And I have to share with you that every time I go in and educate, I always feel like I'm getting something more back from the place and the people that I'm educating with. It is how I grow and it is how I keep fresh and how I keep excited within an industry that is really taking great care of me. My history within the industry and my experience and my mentorships have run the gamut of many, many people. Some of you I'm talking to you today. But a few that I have to mention are Diane Genalali, Malcolm Edwards, Eric Gannat, and John Sahag. They've been very big inspirations and mentors to me. My other inspirations are my clients, the people I work with, and material. I go into Brightex uh, fabric store and I'm surrounded by all kinds of fabric and I just get excited about it. It always gives me great inspiration to think of new ideas for hair. With my model Mary, we have prepped her hair already. I want to show you that I took a section from the recess to the back of the crown, creating a V. And I have taken her hair and created some cushioning. Again, I mentioned I love working with material and I worked on turning her hair into material using some of our products. Building up the base, creating a lot of density to the hair that I'm going to be able to work with to create my French twist. The products we use today, the Texture Expair, I have been in love with since 2008. In fact, that's the reason I joined L'Oreal Professionals because of the Texture Expair products. And I've been a real big fan of our Orographique. I did put Orographique into her hair along with Mousse Volupte and some Dancete, creating a lot of base and a lot of density to the hair that's already thick, but this allows it to just become one unit as I work. Her hair. Moving her hair from one side to the other, really trying to just create a good smoothness. And what I'm going to do is create a spine up the ridge. I'm just going to act as a, as a bridge for me to be able to wrap her hair into a twist. I'm setting it slightly off center so that I can wrap toward the center. If I wrapped it, set it in the center, it would cause me to be off-center in my wrapping. And just for good measure, I'm going to lock it in with just a small one right back here. Gathering the hair, I'm going to place my thumb into the hair upside down. I'm just going to give it a twist. Take my grips. Slide them in. so that I have my 
base of my wrap. From that point, I'm going to take the rest of this hair, twist it into a swirl, kind of creating a cornucopia effect, as you can see here. Tucking the hair into itself to help hide the hair. Moving on to the top now. A little bit of cushioning at the base. Leaving the links to end soft. And we just hide that hair. Just wrap it in. Tuck it. And hide it. I like that ridge. This is my French twist. My name is Scott Smith, and I thank you for your time.